Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Leon and this video will show you guys how to tweak your Battlefield 4 settings on the PC manually without doing so in game itself and also increasing your FPS in game if needed. Um, this is a little handy program called Battlefield 4 Settings Editor. To get this little program, you need to go to this website right here, which is completely safe. As you guys can see, I'll do a little check for you guys. Realmware.co.uk, safe website. Uh, all you have to do is just go to the website in the description, which will be this website. Uh, download the Battlefield 4 Settings Editor. And once you get that, you open up the program. It's uh, you know, quick little, quick little open menu right here. It tells you what you know the settings tab does, the profiles tab does. You don't really need to worry about that unless you want to make multiple profiles for multiple different settings for a game. But what I do is just I go to settings and I choose my uh, you know I tweak my game settings right away. So I'll usually leave the gameplay tab completely normal as it is. I don't really you know tweak anything here. I, I mean if you want to turn something off or turn something on, you could do so. But I you know I don't really need to. Uh, graphics tab is probably the most important one that you should be uh, looking at. So the brightness is up to you, field of view is whatever you feel comfortable playing. I recommend playing anywhere from 85 and higher because you know your game just looks better, it feels faster, more fast paced, you, you get a little more you know actual field of view itself which is you know in my opinion for a PC gamer very important. HUD scale I usually like to have a little smaller than you know normal I don't know I just don't like a lot of things in my way when I'm playing the game um, motion blur and weapon blur these are the two big ones motion blur definitely increases your FPS by a lot uh, so does weapon blur if you if you turn both those settings off as you guys can see I have motion blur set to zero and weapon blur is disabled so once you turn these two settings off you will see a big increase in your FPS not too big but definitely a big enough to you know see the difference from having these two uh, um, settings ticked on colorblind support I have off it's up to you if you're colorblind or not you can turn it on or off and everything else is basically your own preference as you guys can see I play on basically everything high the only thing I can definitely tell you guys to do to increase uh, frames per second is maybe lower your um, resolution if you want to still play any high resolution which is mine is 1920 by 1080 you could definitely just tweak your graphics right here and I recommend the, the main big graphics that you don't really need to still have a game look pretty but still get higher FPS uh, I recommend having your texture uh, quality texture filtering at medium lighting quality effects quality and post, -pro uh, post process quality at low and you know mesh terrain quality at medium everything else at medium if your computer is good enough to do so so that's one thing. Also, you can go to this handy website right here. It's let, it's right on the battle log forums. Uh, you should Google it, and you'll be able to find it right away. Uh, it's it's a little website or a little forum uh, page that gives you guys commands, console commands to increase your FPS. If you guys don't know how to do so, you go into your game, you uh, click the little squiggly line right below Escape, and it opens up your console. So once you're in the console, you type in these commands. Uh, I don't really, you know, mess around with the DirectX 11 commands just because I don't know what exactly they do and I don't want to mess up my settings. But what I do know is definitely is render device triple buffering enable zero. This is a must. Uh, gives you a big FPS boost as well. Uh, thread max processor count eight. Depends on how many threads you have on your computer, how many cores. Uh, I have eight, so I, you know, play it with eight. If you have four, you take four. If you have two, you take two. Uh, another big ones right here. All the motion blur ones you need to tick to zero. It's a big one, like I said before. Your FPS increases by a lot once you tick your FPS count. Uh, I mean, motion blur to zero. Um, another one that I use is render head limit two. Render head limit is basically what you know the amount of particles and the amount of graphics you see, uh, you know, in the distance. So, for example, if you're standing on one side of the map and let's say the the max amount of render head limit is 10 right just just you know just for an example um, you will see your whole entire map all the way in the back all the way to the end uh, what what this is basically allows you to still kind of have your game look pretty but not have you know not process every little detail in the map itself which is a huge 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 um, it, that gives you a huge impact on your graphics card. So if you take this to a little lower number, for example, two, one, three, around there, uh, this is probably your best bet to get you know the most FPS out of it. 
Uh, another thing that I like to do is turn the dynamic dynamic AOE enabled uh, to zero as well. This this also gives you a little bit of an FPS boost. Um, so yeah, that's about it. That's all I could really tell you guys. The website will be in the description. The forum page will be in the description. So will all these commands. So thank you guys so much for checking it out. Uh, hope you hope I helped you guys at least a little bit. Um, you know, check out my other videos and stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much. See you guys all later.